Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 59 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Whee! I always just love flying around super fast. It's just, it's something I enjoy doing. Sorry. Anyway, uh, today's episode, I'm going to look into uh, playing around with spawning the wither. Last episode, we got a ridiculously fast way uh, to spawn said wither. Uh, and we can demonstrate that right here if we want. Hooray! And Wither, once he spawns, actually, is going to die super fast. Uh, courtesy of our amazing Dissidia ritual? I think so. Goodbye, Wither. He melted. As a reminder, by the way, rituals work better at night. So, like, yeah, he died pretty quick. He dies even faster at night. Uh, but he died pretty quick as it was. I, you know, one way or another, Wither died quick. It's good. So, today I want to look at automatically spawning him and setting it up with some kind of redstone system so I can do something like push button to spawn Wither or flip leather to spawn Wither, something along those lines. And I'm thinking the way to do that is the Create Schematic Cannon. If you guys haven't seen my Create Spotlight, this is a cannon that shoot blocks into the world and place them. It's super fun. And we're going to try it out as a method for spawning said wither. So I looked into, um, you know, what, what things can place blocks in the world here. There's not a lot that can place blocks at a different, at a distance. There's quite a few block placers, as in blocks that can be placed next to the block that's placing them, right? But being able to place something at a distance is something that we are a little bit shy on. So we don't have a ton of options there. So I'm thinking the schematic cannon might be a fun way to do it. Uh, so let's give it a shot and play with the schematic cannon today. Figure out how it works. Uh, if, you, if you haven't seen my mod spotlight on create, uh, it covers the schematic cannon, I think. And uh, that should be a cool approach, right? I think that might be fun. We might need to set up like a water wheel or something over there to get this command cannon firing, but we'll deal with all that in a minute. So let's place a thing in the world. I'm pretty sure what I need is gears, because it looks like there's gears on the bottom of that thing. So I need gears spinning to, to have the thing work. So let's get, uh, do we have any water wheels? That might be cool. Yeah, maybe, maybe some water wheels. We'll get like uh, three-ish of them. And, uh, you know, we can get some... Some shafts we can get. Uh, let me put away some other junk that I have, by the way. Let's see, I don't need you or you or you or you at the moment. Uh, I do want you, but you should be in my, whatchamacallit, you can go away for a sec. You I don't need. See all this junk that I don't need? I just have so much junk in my inventory all the time. Always with the inventory problems. All right, you here, you here, and you can go back in that slot, and then that is cool. All right, so from create, we're going to want uh, totally uh, some cog wheels of some kind. So some small wheels would be cool. Some larger wheels would be cool. Uh, maybe some belts. And that should be enough to kind of get the ball rolling. Let's go set that up out here. You know what else I'm gonna want? Uh, some buckets of water. So there's one water bucket. I probably have buckets in my, uh, whatchamacallit, but it doesn't matter. Head out into the desert here. What I'm thinking is back behind the multi-block is where we can do this. Right? Uh, now, several people have commented, by the way, on the videos uh, to say, Hey, Dyer, you, if you really wanted to, could totally just, you know, claim chunks and use cobbled bricks or something. You're not wrong. I think you're right about that. I, I haven't actually tested claiming chunks to see if the weather can't destroy them. You're probably right on that. Uh, my response to said message is that's way less fun. And my other response to said message is that may not work in all packs because if FTB, uh, I think it's a config option for FTB to chunks to, to prevent explosions. So I wouldn't want to do something that didn't always work, or at least, you know, may not work. I mean, sometimes I'm obviously gonna do that, but in this instance, it's just given the option that, you know, the the um, shields will always work, I think that's a better approach to take. So just say it. All right, let's get the water wheels cooking here then. So what we're gonna want is something like, I think water wheels are three by three-ish, right? So we're gonna want something like that. So you're gonna catch the water going that way. Is that fair? Is that what I want? Oh, it should be fine. 
Okay. Okay, that should be cool. And then we're gonna want you along the back here. Like that kinda, yeah? And hopefully that'll be good. And then we just need one bucket. Let's just test it out with you. Beautiful. Yeah, that works for me. I like it, right? All good? And if we needed to, we could use our goggles to test and, and visualize the thing. And if I wanted to, I could also use the... You know, I could use lots of ways to create, you know, create stuff, but meh, this should be fine. All right, so let's let's have you actually come in this way. And uh, I'm not quite sure how important the whole speed mechanic is here. So we'll, we'll speed it up a little bit, but not like crazy amount, and we'll see if that's cool. So I can do you, and then I can do you. And then uh, I think... I can probably do something like this. Let's test this out if I'm right about this. Can't I do something like this? There's there's a way to place this where he will... Isn't there? I thought there was. Maybe I'm imagining that. Maybe I'm imagining that. You know what, on second thought, this thing may not need rotational energy. So let's let's hold off on that. Let's hold off on that and see if we can avoid using the spinny bits. I, it may not need it, I think. So we'll find out. We'll leave that there, and if it's not needed, we'll tear it down in a minute. So let's take a look at the schematic system, because it's pretty straightforward. First, you need a schematic table, I think. Uh, and then you want to build some kind of structure in the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with what's going to effectively be a fake wither, and we'll build that, right? And then we'll go from there. So we start with the empty schematic used as a recipe ingredient and for writing at the schematic table. Yes. So I think what we want to do is like click here. Isn't there a way to start this? Let's see. I feel like there's something I need to do here. See, I should just look at my own YouTube video. That's what I should do. Oh wait, I think I need the schematic and quill. Hang on, that's 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 what it is. You need the schematic and quill uh, to actually write a schematic. That makes sense. Yeah, now we're cooking. Woot. All right. So you're going to start uh, here. Oh, look at that. Hold control to select air blocks. That's neat. First position set. Huh. Do you not want to? OK, hang on. Second position set, there we go. Cool, nice. That looks good, right? And then we can save you at the table, right? Uh, used for saving a structure in your world to MBT. Step one, select two quarter points using right click. Control scroll on the faces to adjust the size. Right click again to save. Nice. So if you wanted to, you could control scroll on like the faces. So control scroll wheel, and that could adjust what's up. Schematic name, wither test, save, cool. And then I could write you, oh, oh, it's already written, nice. Neat, 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 okay, perfect. Remove selection, okay, cool, neato, all right. So that should be good. So let's put our wither test in here. I might need to get another schematic first. 
which should be not too terrible to get. Like I said, I played with this when I did my spotlight and not since, and I forget bits of it. You know, things happen. Also, I was totally in creative for that one, and this works a little bit differently in creative versus not creative. Hey, there we go. Now we've got our weather test schematic. Nice. All right, cool. So now, look at that. All right, deploy, huh? Sweet. Can I specify that this is where I want it to be? Oh, look at that. That's cool. And then you can hold alt left to focus and you can adjust all kinds of things like the X and Z or the Y uh, or rotate it or flip it. So basically we set this where we want it to be in the world, which is like that, right? And then do we just put you in here? And then you're going to need an adjacent chest with which to have things. So I'm gonna give you torches and bricks, okay? You also need gunpowder for uh, ammunition, right? Uh, and then ready. Go. Haha, -ha, it works. Look, it works. That's brilliant. How great is that? All right, cool beans. All right, so now let's build a proper wither so that we can copy his structure. And as a reminder, uh, what you wanna do, if you wanna be super cool about it, is place your skulls first and the sand second, because it's when you place the, the skulls that it validates your thing, right? So now we should be able to do like click, first position set, second position set, and then just click and we'll call it wither. Save. Cool. And I'm hoping that he will always build from bottom to top, which means he'll place the wither skulls second. And now the real question is, right, what happens here is what, 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 let's see. Oh, empty schematic? Does it empty? Why are you empty all of a sudden? So there's wither and wither test now. So I want you to be wither. That's cool. Yeah, I don't want you to be empty when you're done. Let's see if we can show printer settings. Don't replace, replace solid with solid, replace solid with any, replace solid with empty, skip missing blocks, protect tile entities. So I don't want to replace solid blocks. We definitely want that setting on. Checklist printer. Oh, that gives you a list of items you need. Can't you make this thing like run endlessly? I would think you can. Schematic not deployed. Ah, yes, I have to deploy him somewhere. So I have to specify that you're going here. I think, I think that's fine. Cool. Ready. What's this button do? Stopped, okay. And fire. Ha ha! It works! It works! That's cool. I only have one problem. And that is, this guy becomes empty when he's done. This guy becomes empty when he's done. That's not cool. Well, guys, the good news is it's a really great weather placer, and it looks super cool to run. The bad news is I don't think there's any way to make it run more than once. So that is a bummer. So we're going to have to find another alternative here. All right, so let's try the RF Tools Builder, right? That may work? I'm not sure. Oh, we're missing flux ducts? Oh, rip. I need to get flux dust happening. Uh, let's do something. Uh, yeah, maybe. Give me one of these real quick. I'm just gonna use this as a quick test because I'm not sure if this is gonna work. And I mean, I could test this in my test world, but I'm doing that thing where I'm showing you guys my 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 testing process as we go, right? 
So if we do that, then that would be cool. So you're filling up with energy courtesy of holding it, right? And then I can output you on the right, and then you should have power. Boom. So let's try this with a shape card, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again make a false wither. Let's try the old shape card. Oop, you can only do this on a builder. Okay, so this, now select first corner. Now select second corner. New settings copied to card. Copy. Box solid, okay, so that's pretty good. I think I can visualize these, can't I? Uh... Support or preview mode. Haha! -ha. Hey, look, cool! <laughs> Invisible. Now, I'm pretty sure that copied. Did it copy underneath? Uh, maybe not. Okay, that's not terrible. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure if this is working yet. Um. So we place a chest on top, I want to say, with materials in it. Redstone signal ignored. Hello, sir. <laughs> That's not what I expected. What did you just do? I don't know what that was, but it's not what I thought would happen. <laughs> it's not at all what I thought would happen. Uh, press to restart. Okay. That's a thing. <laughs> not at all what I thought would happen. All right, I'm thinking this one may not work. Uh, I noticed the space chamber isn't in. Isn't that what you used to have to have? There was like a thing called a space chamber. I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how this works now without the space chamber. Um, but that is a thing that just happened in this world. Very interesting. Very interesting. Let's turn you on and off again. Yeah, so it did it did grab below, but yeah, no, it was definitely being weird. All right, so you go off. No more no more preview blocks. All right, time to find another option. All right, guys, change of plan. What if instead of building the wither inside the box, we built the wither and then teleported it into the box? How does that sound? And we've we've done something like this in the past using Draconic Evolution's teleporters. But Draconic Evolution is not out for 116 yet and therefore is not in the pack, which is a bummer. However, I discovered there's another mod that adds a similar portal system to it, uh, to the pack here called Wormhole Portals Mod. This one looks pretty cool. Um, basically, you can build multi-block portals, link a spot in the world for the target to, to, to define the target for the portal and then when you step through or touch the portal it'll teleport you to that location so let's try this mod out and see if we like it does that sound like a plan uh i hope so because that's what we're doing uh so you're gonna go in here so it's just cobblestone iron oh, that's not bad portal stabilizer we're going to want one of you uh basic energy cell advanced energy cell i don't know if we need them shouldn't shouldn't need them uh, but basically, uh, they, they run on RF, right? Uh, and they can, uh, you can have bigger batteries in them, right? Uh, and then also target cells. I don't know that we need these either. Uh, target cells will make it so you can store more than one target and select it as part of a UI. I don't know that we need that either, per se. Uh, so I think what we really only need is a portal frame and a portal stabilizer, and that's it. Uh, we should also get a target definition device, but we don't need to auto craft those because we only need one. It's a tool, like a wrench. So that should be cool. 
All right, target definition device. And there's there's two of them, one that can store one target and one that can store up to five targets. Again, I don't know that you would need multiple, right? I don't know that you would need that. Uh, so I think, I think that's good for this build, for this build, right? Uh, so let's try this mod out. And then we're gonna, so we want one stabilizer, boom. And let's get like 20 portal frames, okay? Now here's the deal. Let's try this and see how it works. So we can build a portal. So let's build one like so. And I think you do need the corners, by the way. Pretty sure, pretty sure you need the corners. I haven't actually tested that. And they can be almost any size and shape that you want. And one of the blocks needs to be the portal stabilizer. And if you right click on that, you'll see wormhole stabilized, which tells you that your multi-block is good. And if you right click it again, you get a UI. You see how much RF is stored and you can see your targets and you can activate the portal. If you try to activate it, it's not gonna work because we don't have a target yet. And if we try to select a target, there ain't none in there because we haven't specified any yet, right? So let's get our advanced energy cube up here and configure him for down output. And now you should have power, which is good. Now we can go specify a target in the world. So let's say we wanted to teleport. Um, what I'm gonna say is let's teleport over eh, here. This is where I'm gonna teleport to. So if I, just, if I just right click right here, we can add a destination. So this is the coordinates of where we're going. And I guess what direction we're facing, which is kind of cool and we hit save, it adds it to the target definition device. Cool, which we can then remove and change later if we so determine. Oh, it's a solar eclipse. I should really be getting horologium. But the problem is I don't have any perfect crystals for horologium yet. I, this in the future we'll get it. I need to like, what I need to do is create some horologium crystals that are like ready to accept the horologium constellation. Uh, but yeah, we're in the middle of something, so. Uh, so then we take our target definition device. I think we click it onto the wormhole stabilizer and we'll see the list of portal targets for the wormhole comes up here and we can add it to the list of targets. There's only one possible target right now. If we added, um, for example, the portal target cells, this would add five more targets. So we could have up to six stored in there that we can change via UI. So now when I right click on the portal stabilizer with an empty hand, we'll see the target that's available. We could choose it if we want. Uh, so again, if we if we added that to the multi-block, there'd be six targets available. We could set multiples and we could through the UI specify where to teleport to, which is kind of cool. Looks for, it makes for like a neat teleporty kind of system. Anyway, let's activate him. Uh, you can also specify the color if you want. So if you're a fan of making cool looking colors, you can totally make it whatever color you want. Uh, and then step through and then boom, look, hey, that, it worked. See, and we're facing west because that's, that's the direction we designated as facing. So like not only does it totally teleport you there, but it faces the direction you want it to face. That's kind of cool. That is really cool. I should, I should use this for teleporting around. Does, does this work across dimensions? I, I legitimately question that. Let's find out. Can we find out? I mean, it doesn't indicate a dimension. It just has coordinates X, Y, Z, right? So if we came over here, cleared the target, turns off the portal, add this test to, uh, activate and then step into it. Oh, it actually did work. Look, at it did work across dimensions. Okay, I stand corrected. It 100% works across dimensions. And I mean, that was pretty cool. Now, why'd you uh, deactivate? You should be active still. Hmm, that's interesting. Why are you not active? Teleport cost 600. We have more than enough RF. You know, I mean, I wonder if it's RF related that we had a problem. What we could do is get one of these uh, advanced energy cells just to store a little bit of extra. 
So you need a basic energy cell. And then you can have an advanced energy cell. Are you, okay, you're just not recognizing. Okay, that's fine. So if I did, just, just finding out if this is related to power or not. Hey, cool, look, now it's, you know, now it's got a little extra juice. Activate, I'm just curious why it's turning off when I step through it. It didn't turn off, okay, look, now it stayed on. I bet that was power related, interestingly enough. It ran out of power. So cross-dimensionally costs more RF. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, it doesn't make sense it went off, because it said RF cost 600 and it had 1,000. So it should have went to 400. So I don't know why it went off, but meh. Not going not gonna to sweat the small stuff. But that's neat. So now the other thing we can do, all right, so there's several things to note here. Um, this does not have to be vertical. It can be laying on its side, which is good times. Where'd my building gadget go? Ah, it's in my hot bar. Really? Am I out of sand in my pocket storage unit? No. So why are you all of a sudden not building? Oh, there you go. So let's try this this way. So portal frame. Oh, that's interesting. They, uh, they must have some kind of MBT data that they write. Because they did not decide. Okay, now they stack. <laughs> uh, so we will want the portal stabilizer doesn't super matter where you place it boop activate uh oh cool he remembered his mbt look at that neat so let's set a new destination we're going to set it right i'm going to make it right here remove this test three add we're going to add it to this guy we're going to activate the portal we should probably give you a little bit of power his power just power went down uh, you can, sir, just output on all sides for me. Activate. Sweet. And now when I step into it, boom, I just instantly teleport there. This teleports all entities, including item entities. Boop. Boop. See? So item entities go through there. Uh, mobs will go through there. So what I'm thinking is, rather than trying to remotely place the wither inside the shield we will place the wither outside the shield and have him touch the portal to teleport through it if you've ever spawned the wither you know that he falls downwards a little bit as he's spawning so if we place him just above the portal he should fall down a little bit immediately come into contact with the portal and then get teleported wherever we want him to go aka inside the shield system yes cool does that sound like a plan i like that so let's do a quick one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully this will work. Portal stabilizer, yes. So that's cool, he does remember his NBT. Nice. Uh, we'll set up just this guy. This, this will eventually be a flux node dude, but for now he'll just keep this thing powered enough, hopefully. Uh, let's remove our current target. We're going to specify our new target definition as here. All right, so I'm gonna stand in this spot Click, remove this, add as wither cage, save. Come over here, add it to this dude back. That's cool, this is a cool mod, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, cool mod. And then we, boop, and we're inside the wither cage. Nice, okay, cool. Now are you like properly inside or are you like a little bit funky inside? I noticed you're for some reason chilling like underneath the portal. I don't love that. Like I'm like I'm inside the portal. That's not cool. So maybe if I did this, it would be a little bit better. W cage. I don't think it matters if you reuse the name or not. It's not important. All right, you over here, deactivate, select target clear, click you onto here, add, activate, and go. Yeah, that's a little better. That's a little bit better, right? Now if we drop, you guys are chilling right there. Nice, all right, cool. So should we, should we test this? Oh boy, this is, <laughs> what a, a smart person, a smart person, which I am clearly not, would, 
encase this area in a shield. But I want to do a quick proof of concept to validate it works. And hopefully eh, it does. We're going to find out. So if we build the wither right here, you ready? <laughs> this is a bad idea. Do not try this at home, folks. Don't try this at home, folks. Bad idea what Dyer is doing right here. Bad idea what Dyer is doing right here. Yes, I'm backing up my world. What of it? Hello. It worked. Look, did what we wanted. That's cool. Nice. Man, he's a little bit slow in broad daylight, isn't he? I mean, he'll die. He's just a little bit slow. Not the end of the world slow. Oh, look at him. Look at him. No. Not that big. All right, so I call that a good proof of concept. So today's episode has been multiple attempts to get the wither inside that cage. And I think that's successful. So how about we come back next episode and we finalize this build? We get the block placers. We figure out how we're going to do that. Some kind of redstoniness because we're going to have to place the blocks in the right order. Remember, soul sand first, wither skeleton second. Um, and then make sure that they're you know aligned correctly. Basically what we'll do is we'll, we'll set up some kind of block placing system like this. Imagine these are all block placers, right? And they're going to be there ready to place blocks, right? And then they will place the wither like so, wither will spawn, right? And that'll be cool. I call that a pretty neat plan. Hopefully you guys agree. Yeah, perfect. Boom. And then he's over there. I like it. I like it. All right. Wrapping up point for the episode. Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll come back next time uh, and 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 use this to get the weather going. All right. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>